Question 3. Figure 1 shows one way that the motor effect can be demonstrated. And there's quite a complicated diagram here. This is worth four marks. And what it says is when the switch is closed, which is here, the copper wire moves. And here is the copper wire. Describe how the direction the copper wire will move can be predicted using Fleming's left-hand rule. So let's have a think before we do anything here. We've got a circuit when you close the switch, and here's the wire going around here. We've got a battery, so when the switch is closed you hope there's going to be a current flowing. So let's think it flows from the positive through this wire here, down here, where it's not going to go any further there, so we presume it'll go through the copper wire, back down here, through the switch, and back to the battery. So that's the direction of the current flow. There's nothing to stop you adding on some arrows here. So let's do that. So we've got the current flowing, and actually the current is going to flow in this direction here. All right, and that's going to be useful to us. What else have we got? Well, we've got a permanent magnet here with a magnetic field, and you've got a north and a south. So we, we will need the direction of the magnetic field. And this is where the diagram can go a bit messy, but it's going to go upwards like this. Now, we know that F equals Bill, and we can we can use some of those symbols to help us out here just to keep the diagram a bit neater so that is the magnetic field going upwards and maybe i'll turn that into a clearer arrow head that is the current flowing through there hmm describe how the direction the copper wire will move can be predicted using the fleming's left hand rule so what does this mean well if you take your left hand, then the thumb, the first finger and the middle finger give you aspects of the field that interact with each other. So thumb is for motion, first finger is for field, second finger is for current. So let's just jot those down because we'll need those. So hold left hand with thumb and first two fingers at 90 degrees. Fleming's left hand rule. Thumb, the M stands for motion. First finger is field. Second finger is current. Okay, you're just using up your spare space. This is not going to be marked, these bits here, but it just allows you to think before you answer. Describe how the direction the copper wire will move can be predicted using Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, well, let's, let's start the answer then. Hold your left hand So that your thumb, first finger, and second finger are at 90 degrees to one another. Align your second finger with the direction of the current. Align your thumb with the direction Whoop. 
Oops. Not fun. Align your first finger. With the direction of the field. You could even say north to south. The direction of your thumb will predict the motion of the wire. Job done.